Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about customizing Linux Mint. Uh, this was partially inspired by Linux Quest and uh, the show notes. These are the show notes which will be available to you to help you if you want to make any of these changes. Uh, it, at least I, I definitely think it helps to to have some guide or reference other than just it being verbal in a video. So. Um, and I'm not going to go into the full detail as the show notes uh, because I'd be here all day. So, um, but I will try to deal with the key keynotes or key ideas of what I've done. So, uh, the first thing I've done was install the Cor Corla icon theme, which, uh, basically looks like this in the panel and a little bit on the desktop and in, uh, on the panel, if you click on your file manager, these are what the folders look like. So I, I like the colors, uh, the fonts. To me, everything it looks quite nice, uh, and that's why I've chosen it. Um, here, let me close that. Um, I explain two ways to install a Corla icon theme. I won't go into detail. It, 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 it's uh, explained here in the show notes. Uh, pay attention to, to the notes I have. They may really help you out uh, you, if you get stuck. Um, then I also installed the Breeze cursor theme, which is this, the cursor here. And uh, you can uh, change it to white or black. I chose white. And it's basically, this is the KDE cursor theme. And I think it's also used in um, some other distros. It's fairly uh, commonly used in the other distros because it uh, looks a little better than your standard cursors that you'll see. So um, that's why I installed that. And it explains how to install it. Uh, then I go into applets and desklets. Uh, what are they? Uh, both may be considered w widgets, I believe, and at least that's what I've uh, come to understand and um, essentially applets are used on panels and desk desklets are used on the desktop um, and then I go into a, a note here that is important to to uh, reference and then I'll proceed showing you some of the applets uh, or ones that I installed so your mint menu uh, doesn't look quite like this this it looks more like windows 7 and it's called the sin 7 stark menu and essentially it's laid out uh well laid out in this fashion which i think looks quite nice and might be a little friendlier than the standard menu and that's why i've chosen it um and then i've uh the group window list is already installed and that's essentially this. Um, this it's another applet basically and it it makes it more convenient to do uh, the layout I don't know if I can explain it well but uh, you'll see if you tar start to tinker with this that there's a reason why it's here and it's here by default so um, you don't need to install the group window list. Uh, recent documents applet is is here so I've got that right there uh, the removable drive uh, applet is here and then the shutdown menu with icons is located right here so I, I find all these applets essential and that's why I've installed them um, they're not here by default so um, moving on back to the uh, sin um, 7 start menu um, I'll just click on it and show you. If you to customize this icon, you just hover over the menu, right click, left click configure, then go into the second panel. You'll see under appearance, use a custom icon. You need to check this. Then you need to click on icon and it'll give you options and you'll have to pick an icon that is most fitting uh, for you. So this is the one I, I had to, I had to search for it and found something that I like. So I chose this particular icon. And then I also got rid of the label because I don't need it. So I, you just delete or clean this out. 
and then you might I don't know if you have to reboot or what I don't know if it's immediate some of these changes but um, anyway that's what I've done for uh, customizing the menu and then moving on um, the desklet is an analog chronometer or essentially a clock and I'll show you that here in a second let's see if I can get over there so this is a desklet for your desk and it's uh, I wanted an analog clock uh, at least in, for this um, for me at this point it, I've, I've had a lot of digital clocks I thought this looked really cool and um, you might like it too and you have to somewhat customize it um, but I guess I should show you how to do that so you click on the menu type in desklet and you'll see you've got your eye your uh, panel your highlighted thing um, you come in here and uh, normally it's not installed so you would go to the download menu type in clock to locate the analog chronometer the fact that it's checkmarked that means it's already installed uh, and of course it's on the first tab as you can see here it's checked these applets are are installed by default I noticed that they've had a little lock on them so I'm not sure you can actually uh, remove them but you can disable them basically they're, they're disabled at this point um, this one is your your uh, digital clock I believe or the, it gives you the ability for a digital clock um, but if you want the analog one this is the one I had to install with the download tab and excuse me <coughs> um, moving back to the I wanted to talk about the calendar here the applet going back to applets um, on the far right corner I have a calendar uh, your standard calendar this normally would have a clock in it but what I did I changed it to the date and how to do that you just right click on the on the uh, uh, what do you call it the applet click on configure then what I had to do was check mark custom date format and I had to put this particular code to give me this particular date format that shows Friday abbreviated uh, August 23rd so um, if you want to have a different um, appearance then this code would change to something to 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 make that change and you might have to Google it uh, to find out uh, what code might uh, might work for you. But this is what I wanted. So, um, and now moving back to the show notes. Um, where am I going here? Da, 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 click a clock. I tr okay. I talked about tweaking the calendar. I also installed Catfish for file search. So that's here and uh, it comes in quite handy when you're searching files I don't know if Nemo gives you much search capability or at all uh, and that's why I installed catfish so um, and then I explain how to install it and then I installed plank uh, which is your panel here on the left it's on auto hide um, here I'm just gonna delete that I don't need that um, so and then here I put show desktop um, you've got your um, trash can the various uh, I put more multimedia in here uh, and then I put more of my office stuff or more of my uh, daily use uh, apps down below um, anyway so there's plank it tells you uh, oh and then it tells you also how to configure plank in the show notes here uh, you'll notice the panel down at the bottom it's on auto hide um, it's intelligently hit I guess is what you could say and that just gives you the you know you get your full screen when you open the browser or do other things you I just don't want to I don't want to lose any of my desktop space if I can and that's why I have it set for auto hide there so um, and it explains also that I adjusted the width and it tells you how to do that I just thought I'd want it larger than a, a thinner bar for for my vision or my sight um, I also enabled redshift which is to reduce eye strain at nighttime and there's the little icon for redshift uh, once it's on auto start I believe it it'll just show in the panel 
uh, and a tip that I just, I just happen to notice. Um, I don't know if it's a big deal, but if you uh, in the panel, if you right click on your uh, Nemo file manager or the files folder, you have this this uh, little uh, ability to go to preferences. You have the ability to go to places, and also, of course, recent. Um, I guess some kind of recent activity, but anyway, this is something I didn't even notice until I happened to go in here. So if you right click, it gives you some options here, which is kind of nice and uh, you know just makes it easier to get where you want to go once you learn how to use it. So, and then I talk about the wallpaper if it interests you. That's where I got my wallpaper, and um, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, keep enjoying Linux. Thank you.